Thank you. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechFuse Nope. And, and today we are doing another Android tutorial. In this one, we're going to be talking about asynchronous and synchronous coding. Now this is pretty important when you get into network issues. So for example, if you're making an application that's like Netflix or weather applications or some other things, you will be dependent on outside sources and you will need to use this particular knowledge in order to make sure that the user doesn't think the problem is within the application itself, that they know it's here in the network, or they can still do whatever needs to be done, or, or part of what needs to be done, at least, in the um, application itself, and the actual touch interface doesn't cause problems. So as far as things goes, use, I'm going to be using um, a couple of terms. First off, we're going to be using thread, and thread is a path of execution for the code. And the next one is concurrency, and it's just basically saying multiple things can be done at the same time. Normally, when you're dealing with an application on a computer or any other device, you will have a straight talk between the user or the device itself in the application and this normally is fine but think of the threads as kind of a three-line highway where you have a slow on the sides and a fast in the middle so the main thread is the fastest well the one thing to note is your user interface the actual touch, mouse, keyboard, things of this nature, will be going through the fast thread. And then you got network that should be on the slower threads, uh, on anything that's not main thread. Well, basically what happens is, is let's say that your um, application, it requires the uh, weather or whatever, and you don't do the concurrency, a asynchronous coding. What would end up happening is it will kill the uh, connection between the two, the 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 main, and it will walk away and just basically go to the networking when it gets its what it needs. It will just go back to the um, main stuff. This will end up causing problems when the user actually tries to do things, it will make it look like the entire phone is slowing down or touching stuff and nothing will happen and you'll have other problems of that nature. So instead of doing this, what you'll have is a asynchronous, so send up this example, we have again the same thing as before in the red being the internet. So what would end up happening is the user can still talk to the application and the user can do whatever they need to do. When it comes time that the application needs something, the application will tell on the side for, uh, it, it says it needs something, um, weather data, Facebook updates or whatever it may be, but it will still allow the user to actually play around on the application. A good example of this, and just make it as clear as possible, is let's say that I'm talking to you and then I get hungry or whatever, and instead of waiting until the conversation is done, I just walk away. That's asynchronous because what happens is, is I'm slowing down and the communication basically stops. You don't know what's going on, get frustrated, and it goes from there. Well, in reality, you can have an asynchronous where you have a, another party and you can say, hey, go get me some food, go get me a drink, go get me whatever. And the conversation still happens and you as the user will st still be able to interact with no problem. You might be wondering why certain data and stuff like that is not coming up, but overall, the uh, application is still able to interface with the person 
and um, then it's able to pull up the the information given it's able to get it. A, a uh, example at this time, if you go to Netflix and install the application and um, you're in a poor signal area, but with 4G or Wi-Fi or whatever it may be, what will happen, and, and I've seen this a few times where I about how to delete the application or felt like I had to delete the application in order to figure out some troubleshoot methods. And this is something that you want to prevent someone deleting your application. You want to keep it on the phone as much as possible and the person use it as much as possible. But what ended up happening is the Netflix logo showed up. You click on it, do whatever, nothing's happening. And I either have to close out the application or wait 30 seconds, maybe up to two minutes before it says the data is just too slow or something pops up and says, here, you can watch this. So with that, that particular thing is more of a line of a synchronous because I don't have access to do anything. I think something's broke. Um, and, and from a user standpoint, they'll think something's broke when in reality, the application is just trying to get data and go from there and this is not something you want obviously in some aspects you may have to go down this road again with netflix where they require the stuff coming from online it, th this is something that m maybe could be fixed with just pulling up a list and download it and the list and icons of movies and stuff so when the person it want to see stuff they can just look at the list but they might not be able to look at the videos but right now you can't even get to the videos because the thing just stops talking to you all together and you're trying to figure out if, if the application is broke or what's going on and in many cases this is why a lot of people run the problems and they're, they're trying to figure out why is my phone slowing down or computer slowing down that's why it's because you have applications and stuff using the main thread slowing everything else down so in and thing to keep in mind with threads is um is you want to use a slower thread a side thread if if possible for the networking and that way you don't run to this problem the person is able to still do whatever they need to do with no problem at all Anyways, we'll get more into this in the next video, and uh, please feel free to check out those, and um, I'll see you in the next video, and have a great day.